Please work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Okay, today we're gonna to be making paper owls. We're gonna use our large paper first, and then we're gonna use our half sheet a little bit later. You have two different colors. I'll be using a pen so you can see my lines nice and clearly, but you're gonna to wanna to use a pencil just in case you need to erase. At the top of our paper, we're gonna start with a big curve. This is gonna be the top of our owl's head. And then from the top point here on your left, because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna drag my pencil around making a big U, connecting all the way back up to the top. You're gonna to wanna to make it as big as possible. Then you may cut it out. If you want to put your scraps aside, you could always use them later for other decorations of your owl if you choose. Here is our body. Next, we are going to make the wing and the eyes. Okay, we have our half sheet for our wing and our eyelids, and then I just have some scrap piece of white paper. I'm gonna make the eyes. I might as well just do the eyes real quick so then I know where I wanna place the rest of my owl. Now as an artist, you always gotta kinda think one step ahead. For my eyes on your regular scrap piece of paper, I'm just gonna draw two big circles and cut them out. All right, here are my eyes with a marker. What you can do, I'm using a darker gray. You can draw in the pupil. The pupil is the center part of the eye. For this, I'm just making some nice circles. Okay, when you are done, you may glue down your eyes so they stay in place. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the big wings and the eyelid if you want to add an eyelid to your bird. So I'm gonna put my owl up a little higher. And here is our, I have a darker colored paper in this instant, our little smaller sheet. All you're going to do is draw a big curve like this, and then another curve on the other side, going the opposite way. It looks almost like a big leaf. I'm going to outline this in a dark purple marker so you can see my lines a bit more clearly. Just like that. If you'd like to do that for decoration, you certainly can too. We're gonna do another one. One curve, and another curve going the opposite way, just like that. And I'm going to outline it so you can see it once again. There we go. And then you may cut them out. All right, while we have our scrap paper here, I didn't glue on my feathers for my arms yet. I'll show you um, different ways you can do that in a little bit. But I'm going to make the eyelid for my eyes next. So for the eyelid, all it is, boys and girls, on that same piece of paper, remember, work towards the edge, then you don't have to work so hard to cut it out in the middle. We're gonna draw a straight line that is about the width, so it's wide 
as your eye is. It's the width. And then we're gonna do a big curve up and connecting, okay? Same thing in the, another eye. Draw the width, so a line, and then cup up, curve, and connect. Let's cut those out. There we go. I got the majority of my paper off. That means it's easier for me to cut. And now I'm going to get my eyelids for my bird. Okay, now let's bring this bird back down here. There we go. Now the eyelids can go on top like this. You can make him look kind of sleepy, mad, maybe he's a mad owl, I don't know. Maybe he's just tired. And his feathers, you can have him going up. You can have him going like he's disco dancing. Or you can have him just plain down or tucked in like he's hugging himself. I'm gonna have mine just come down like this. Add a little bit more glue and you can glue on those feathers and eyelids depending what kind of expression you'd like to give him or her. There we go. Alrighty, and then the last couple steps we have is I have a piece of just yellow scrap paper. With your scrap paper, we are going to draw a diamond. This is going to be his dimensional beak. Dimensional means it's going to come actually off the paper towards you, and I'll show you this trick. So we're gonna cut out our diamond. And now you're going to fold your diamond in half. So you see how it has a long way? This is the short way, we're gonna go the long way. Take your top and your bottom and fold them so they are together. That way it makes a triangle. With your glue stick, glue one of the triangles on the outside. Not the inside, the outside. And then just stick it where you want to speak. And you will see that it actually sticks off of our owl and it looks really cool. The last step is if you want to add little feet, little legs, you certainly can on a scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to do mine by making two rectangles. Just real simple for his legs and feet. If you want to add more advanced feet, absolutely. I'm going to add a little bit of dot of glue, a little circle circle. And I'm gonna keep my glue side up. And I'm gonna lift my owl and put them over the top. And those are his little feet. Okay. Now, the rest of the time, maybe you'd like to add decorations like we talked about. I'm gonna outline his feathers and his arms. Okay. And you could add feathers on his body using squiggly lines. can add spaces for his ears. I'm just doing little, almost like triangles, okay? You can make your owl however you want. I'm gonna add a few more colors. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me and have a good day. It was a hoot, hoot hoot.